Malolele, my name is Diamond Langi, and I'm here today with the whatadoo.com. What's going on, folks? We are here live and direct at Disney Studios for the movie premiere of Moana. I can't tell you how excited I am. Diamond, what do you think? I am so excited. I know our people will be so proud. This is going to be so great. Oh, <laughs> the magic is everywhere. You will feel the mana, right? Right. Coming to you November 23rd. I can't wait. So I seen glimpses that Moana was very close with her grandmother. Mm -hmm. Can you share with me your special experience with your grandmother? Uh, yeah, no, I, for me it was always, yeah, early on, uh, you know, as artists you try to put your own experiences in your work to, to help make it seem more authentic and more of a, an expression. And for me, yeah, my, um, my ancestry really came into play. Part of my ancestry comes from Samoa. And my my great-grandmother was, was born in Opolo. And, yeah. And for me, um, working on this film became very personal. I, I made a rubbing of her uh, headstone, and I put it up above my desk every day to remind me why I'm working on this film and what I want it to be. Because um, you know, the Polynesian culture is one that um, really needs to be celebrated. I think they right. created the largest cultural footprint of any culture before Western European expansion, which is just mind blowing. And they were able to navigate from all the islands without any modern instruments, just wayfinding, it's beautiful. I think the question that I'm wondering is, how come Moana doesn't have a love interest? You know, that was important from the very start. We didn't want Moana to be defined by her relationship, uh, a love relationship with someone else. Right. We wanted her to be defined uh, by her people and her culture. And, and she really um, is a person who is willing to fight for um, her people and her culture. and and look out for others. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was from the very beginning, we didn't, we didn't want that at all. And it, yeah. it actually was almost a non-issue, oddly enough. Yeah, right. So how does Moana's personal journey in navigating relate to you? For me, like in, in all of our lives, you know, whether we're on the ocean or not, like we're on a journey. And in that journey, we need to have our bearings. We need to know where we're going. Mm -hmm. And um, going back to that um, know your mountain, you know, you can't know where you're going unless you know where you come from. And right. so I think that the ancestry is, is so important and so beautiful that in all of our lives, we are on a journey, we are wayfinding, and we can use our ancestors as kind of compasses to help, help us through. So David, what would you want for the Polynesian community to take out of this film Moana? I really hope, and every day when I was working on the film, I had that rubbing of my ancestor above my desk because I want, I want to make this as an expression of gratitude and also an expression of pride for the Polynesian community. I don't think it has to be the definitive Polynesian story, but I think it is a celebration of a culture that is long overdue. I think everyone needs to understand how beautiful and wonderful this culture is, and right. I think it's something that they all can be proud of. Oh.